Howdy folks. So today let's look at the import wizard in the unified interface. We'll just see uh, how it works in the new interface. There's there are certain things that it does differently. And uh, there's, there's one little thing that you have to keep in mind while using the import wizard. So we'll look at all of that in the unified interface. But before we dive in though, let's really quickly look at how the current web interface works. Uh, the import wizard in the web interface works. Okay, so let's say uh, if I have this, let's say I have this uh, Excel file, right? Uh, uh, and I want to, it, it has a bunch of leads and I want to import these leads in my Dynamics 365 using the import wizard. The way I, uh, I would do that is by going into uh, import data, clicking that button and, and notice that I'm in accounts right now and I can be anywhere in my uh, Dynamics 365 uh, but I still have access to the same import wizard. And from here, I can import whatever kind of records. So it doesn't have to be necessarily accounts. Uh, I will go ahead and import my leads from here. So, uh, and then it gives me the flexibility of XML, CSV, TXT, etc. So let's say uh, I have this XML file that I want to import. I choose it and I go next. And, uh, you know, it walks me through the wizard. Okay, so, and then it lets me choose what kind of entity this is, right? Uh, and then on the next screen, it lets me map all the fields. Uh, and then uh, it, it will let me just import all that data, right? Now, let's look at the same process in the unified interface. Got to get out of this. Uh, and now in my unified interface, uh, the one thing I want to show you first is... Uh, let me go into accounts first. Okay, so although I want to import leads, let me show you what happens if you are in a different entity. So from my accounts, uh, I have the import options right here. So I can say either import from Excel or import from CSV. So it looks like you cannot use uh, a different file format besides these two. So if I say uh, import from Excel, uh, it gives me the option to upload the file. And when I do that, so uh, so notice one thing, uh, I'm gonna use this file. Okay, so this is something that I created on my own. And if I choose this and I click next, it gives me this error, okay? So, uh, and this is an error that has been uh, ongoing for a few years now, uh, you know, so some, some people have had issues with this error. I'm not going to go into details, but uh, it seems like if you create your own Excel file, uh, it won't let you import. So what I did was I actually downloaded the template uh, for leads and I used that. And uh, so in my, in my template, I have all of my records and now I choose that, I go ahead and click next. Now notice that it tells me that this isn't valid for accounts. So it turns out that if you are in a certain entity, uh, you can import records only of that type. So if I'm in accounts, I cannot import uh, leads or uh, contacts or any other type of record from here. So in order to import leads, I have to go into my leads. So uh, if I go here and now I choose import from Excel, I will uh, be able to navigate to that. Uh, and now I go click next. So this is where it actually, remember how in the web interface, it kind of walks you through the whole like wizard like process but now it just tells me that hey look uh it's going to import all of the data that you have in your uh excel file you can either click finish import and it does the import for you or you can say review mapping and this is where it shows you all of the mapped fields uh, you can change the mapping if you want or uh, ignore and things like that and this is where you also name your data map okay so uh, in the in the previous interface, it used to be on the one of the last screens, but here uh, you name it right on this data mapping screen. And once you're ha happy with this, you just click finish import, and it does the import for you. All right, so uh, that's that's one thing I wanted to show you the the way import wizard works. And also notice that if I choose import from CSV. Uh, it will let me choose only CSVs and not anything else. Okay, everything else is grayed out. So uh, CSV and I go next. It asks me for delimiters, review the mapping and whatnot. And then I can go ahead and finish the import. 
All right, so uh, the, the concept obviously is the same, but there's a certain way the import wizard works in the unified interface, and that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.